Man, it's a pretty cool view looking down on this place. We are still in the Great Mogwin Mausoleum, or whatever it's called. And we are going to be going up there today, which kind of looks like a boss fight arena, if you ask me. But before we do that, we're instead going to go over here because we're going to go invade Varay's world because, uh, I don't know, why not? Varay, of course, is the one who sent us here to begin with. Uh, we can't use it in here because, uh, you know, can't use the Blood Flame Blade in here, I should say. Because when we're invading, we don't have a great rune active, I guess. Yeah, I don't really feel like using one in here. I don't think we need it. Uh, so he says. This is interesting. We're backtracking through the place we had been. Um, what are you holding? That looks like a big old hammer, which you have now coated in Blood Flame Blade. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. So apparently, nothing but jump attacks does anything against this guy. And we're both all um, excited about the blood loss here. Oh gosh, I don't want to deal with those. Here, can I give you one of those to deal with? Ow, 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 ow. Ow. No. I switched weapons because... Oh gosh, I knew doing an invasion, we're not going to have our rune active. So I was trying to, you know, be ready, be prepared to make sure we're using a weapon that we can actually use. Oh, he's been poisoned. That's kind of a shame. Ran out of stamina there. Ow. He's just bonking with whatever that is. It looks like a weird... Ow. I don't know what that is. It looks weird to me, though. There we go. The thing about Vare is, like, early on, it's kind of like, I think there's something up with this dude. But, you know, whatever. Um... Um, I guess he's done for then. Got a finger and Vare's bouquet. Is that what he was using? Is that a that's a weapon, right? Oh my gosh. A steel mace resembling a charming bouquet of roses. Each petal has a sharpened edge, leaving the roses perpetually covered with blood. This weapon reflects White Mask Vare's manner of speech rather well, enticing in its splendor, but full of deadly consequence, and it has blood tax on it. What is this weapon? Uh, strength, dex, and arcane. Of course, arcane. That makes sense. Blood loss. Wow. That's wicked. Like, that is seriously wicked. I mean, it's also kind of funny, but uh, funny wicked here. I'm going to switch back to uh, this guy because I really feel like we're heading into a boss fight. I mean, this just... Oh, maybe not. This looked like it was going to be a boss arena to me, but it's just covered in albinorics. <laughs> There's a big dude up there. Oh, it's one of those guys. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck. Blah. Dewey. Oh, I see. There's a lift up there. 
that's going to take us somewhere. Is there an item up there? There's a chest that everyone is guarding. Oh, uh, goodness. Um, I guess. Let's just... Oh, my gosh. I have all the regrets in the world right now. Okay. Oh, goodness. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do about this. I got to get rid of this guy first, though, I think. Okay. Let's get rid of that guy. And then we'll worry about all these other guys. Can I just get a swing out before you do? Oh, my gosh. Like, when these dudes all just start busting out their, um... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Their, uh, spinny attack thing like that. Oof. I guess this is maybe where Bloodhound's Fang is a good choice, because... High damage weapon here. I think what we're gonna have to do is reload this place. Because we're gonna probably be going upstairs to a boss arena. Oh, yeah, look at that. You ran into the swing, buddy. Good job. Good job. Ugh, that was terrible. Watch, this is going to be a teleporter or something stupid like that. Okay. Thank goodness. <gasps> Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. I guess because that is not one I have seen before. And it says Somber and it says Ancient Dragon. Ancient dragon rock smithing stone drained of color. A scale of the ancient dragon lord and hidden treasure of Faramazula. Strengthening special armaments to plus 10. The ancient dragon lord seed is said to lie beyond time. This stone slightly, uh, lightly twists time, allowing the creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. I think that probably needs to go on Bloodhound's Fang. And we can get it up to the maximum, which I, well, I assume it's the maximum, which is plus 10. Holy crap, a doodle do. I would love to know how many there are in the game. Is that like the only one or there's like maybe two or something? Oh my gosh, that is just fantastic. I am super excited about that. That is, oh yes, 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 yes. Let us pop a sit, stand back up, and go and see what is waiting for us upstairs. Oh, and everyone responds. Great. Okay. I'm going to make a point of not running by them then. Man, that is fantastic. I am just so excited. I mean, I've been waiting, I feel like, the whole stinking game for that, even though I obviously haven't. But I've definitely been waiting a while because we've been at plus nine with Bloodhound's Fang for uh, quite some time now. Now, that is in part because I think we kind of... Um, you know, found something early on in Kalid, which kind of helped out, but, uh, you know, minor details and stuff. If this is not screaming boss arena, then I don't know what is. It's like a giant egg with an arm sticking out of it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll get Oleg ready to go.
Angela. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Well, holy crap, let's go. That, um... I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but it is what it is. That's interesting that he referenced Mikola, though. Yeah, I kind of want to keep this in between me for now. And let Ola get a, get a shot in. I want to give a moment to see what I'm dealing with. Moog, Lord of Blood. Didn't we already fight a Moog? I could have sworn we did. Um, you are wrecking my friend, and I don't appreciate that. Okay. Ow. Ow. I think I need to get out of the way. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um. I mean, I'm just kind of throwing some stuff at him here just to kind of keep... Ow. A little bit of... Poise damage on him. At least that was the idea. I don't know that that actually did anything. Okay, let's come around from behind here. There we go, let's get the crit. I mean, he seems like he basically has the same attacks as the other Moog did, which we kind of walked through him without too much trouble, if I recall correctly. Ow. Ow. Oh my gosh, I couldn't heal in time. I'm grateful that there's a, a stake of America nearby. Okay. I, I should have focused on healing sooner rather than I didn't, basically. Okay, I'm just trying to get this weapon held with two hands again. I want to get away from whatever he's doing. I mean, so far we still have our bubble, which that's kind of amazing. I do want to stop and grab the runes, but at this point I feel like we got a really good got a really good effort going on here. Okay, there was the first hit. I don't know if I can do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, got him out, so that's fine. This guy still has a ton of health left. You're definitely doing some new tricks, though. Yeah, let's get Bloodhound's Flame. I'll, uh... <laughs> Bloodhound's Flame? There you go. Bloodhound's Flame. Oh my gosh, buddy. Okay, I would prefer if you would stay on the ground, because I'm having trouble hitting you when you don't. Oh man, I think we traded there. There we go. Got Moog's Great Rune in Remembrance of the Blood Lord. I have all the questions in the world right now, and holy crap, the dude was worth 420,000 runes. Honestly, he wasn't that hard. I think I should have gotten the first time. I just... I think I just played it wrong. I didn't really know what I was doing. But that second time around was not that bad, all things considered. We can definitely get a couple of levels out of that. So this apparently is Mikola, is what we're being led to believe? Like, is that actually Mikola? I mean, I can't really, you know, I can't see anything in there to say. But the way Moog was talking about it, he made it sound like this is Mikola. 
because he's, you know, going to leave Mikola alone for a little while. Very interesting. I'm trying to figure out if I can tell what what this sort of egg-like thing is and what's around all of it, and uh, nothing's really sticking out to me. You know, I gotta wonder too, oh man, look at this view. Look at this view. That's spectacular. I was kind of wondering if, you know, you can like jump over the edge and it'll take you to some secret place, but honestly, I'm not willing to find out. <laughs> oh, that is great though. That is such a view. Like, I'm just trying to look at everything here. We have all these statues that are lined up on the side along the way. Honestly, I didn't even notice them. All the tombstones and the jars and pots and all those things. Yes, of course, notice those for sure. But this egg thing, and then what is this? It's like, is it a giant bowl? Is it a mask? Is it supposed to be one of those uh, kind of quarter bowl things that you find the starlight shards in, except it has holes in it? Um, stop slapping me in the head, Mikola, or whatever. Wow. Well, that was a fun little uh, divergence. So we got Moog's Great Rune. So let's see, where would you be if you were Moog's Great Rune? I think it's in here. The Great Rune of Moog, devoid of any benediction, seek the Divine Tower of East Altus. So if we go to the Divine Tower of East Altus and then Divine Tower of Kaelid and Divine Tower of West Altus, do we have any of those on our map? I don't know that we do. We have Divine Tower West, and we do have Divine Tower East. So you know what? Um, let's just go activate these runes. I want to see what they are. So this is the Eastern Tower, and this is going to be Moog's rune, I think. So we got Moog's Great Rune, and now let's bounce to the West. And I don't know that we've been in this one. Can we go in it now? I think we've been here, but we couldn't go in it earlier, or I didn't try to push the door open. I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the same as every other Divine Tower, and we're just gonna go climb up, so um, let's engage fast forward, I think. All right, coming up to the top here, we activated a rune on the way up. And then there should be one more grace up here, maybe, possibly, potentially not. Okay. So I forget, was this Radon's rune? Rykard's great rune. So if we want to do Radon's great rune, then we need to go to the Divine Tower in Kaelid, which I happen to know where that is. That's literally right here, and we haven't been to that area yet. Because I was kind of saving it for a rainy day, and I guess... Um, I guess today is a rainy day, because I think there might be another one or two things to do over there anyway. I thought I'd take us back to Round Table first. I don't remember. Um, I think we've asked how to burn the thorns. Yeah, we need kindling. Got it. Okay. Pretty sure we've asked about that. If not, uh, sorry, just roll back and you'll be fine. So we've got, uh, we haven't done a bunch of these things. This is the one from Rikard. I gotta say, I've used the Blasphemous Blade on my other character now since it's a faith-based weapon. It's pretty good. Really enjoy it, actually. And then we got Radon's stuff, which I kind of want to play with, like, the bow or something, but it's really more strength than it is dex, so I don't know that I care about that. Uh, strength, dex, and arcane. It's really strength and arcane, not dex. Because look at that, 14 dex. Yeah, we can't even use this weapon at all. And then Bloodborne. That's an incantation. Oh, Blood Boon. <laughs> blood Boon scatters blood flame before caster to set area aflame. Thrust arm into the body of the formless mother, then scatter the blood flame to set the area ablaze. This inc incantation can be cast while in motion. The mother of truth craves wounds. When Moog stood before her deep underground, his accursed blood erupted with fire, and he was besotted with the defilement that he was born into. And then let's take a look at his spear. Trident of Moog, Lord of Blood, a sacred spear that will come to symbolize his dynasty. As well as serving as a weapon, it is an instrument of communion with an outer god who bestows her power upon cursed blood. The Mother of Truth desires a wound. There's a lot to unpack there, and I don't know what half of that means. 
has a blood boon ritual, raise the spear and pierce the body of the formless mother, stab up to three times, creating explosions of blood, which each with each thrust, the skill will coat the armament with blood flame for a while. Wow, okay. So let us go visit Hug because I think we need to go use that somber dragon stone. And I wanted to make a point too that I said Moog wasn't that bad and he really wasn't. I kind of, oh, I was gonna say, you look like you have a different thing going on. Are you ready to talk? You're not ready to talk. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna commit to that. Sure, you can have that. Uh, and I guess we have run out of things so we can't upgrade her anymore. And then what about uh, shield geyser? What about rats? Can we upgrade them? Grave glove warts. So I guess it's the ghost glove warts are for these guys. Okay, so that's good to know. Grave and ghost, I never remember. But about Moog, I, I think well, part of it is, um, I don't know, sometimes some bosses are just, you're able to kind of, uh, you know, really just sit down and, and work them out pretty easily. Like they just, holy crap, kind of work for you. Uh, we're going to get a 20 point and then another uh, almost 40 points. That's almost 70 points of damage by going up to plus 10. Ooh, that was... God slaying armament upgraded any armament to its highest tier. So that was an achievement unlocked for me right there. Man, that's exciting. You have no idea. I'm like totally jazzed about that. But with uh, Moog, anyway, I don't know. It just um, kind of works for me. It's not too, too big of a deal. I, I kind of get him, I guess. I don't know. I can't say why. I don't feel like I'm doing anything special or different with him. I just kind of get him, I guess. And then, you know, the other thing too is Bloodhound's Fang is obviously very upgraded. Well, now it's as upgraded as it gets. So, you know, a weapon that's almost at maximum. I don't know, maybe you're not really supposed to be uh, working that high of a weapon at this point of the game. I really don't know. But it's what we have. Actually, what do we have down here? We can do Ghost 6. Okay, I was just curious. So it worked well, it went well. I mean, I, I still think I could have beaten him on the first try and I just uh, just played it wrong because I, I didn't understand what that attack was doing. By the time I realized it was just building up tons and tons of blood loss, it was too late. And uh, you know, that's okay, you live and learn. That's kind of how these games work. So that gets the Nagakiba up to plus 18 and then now, I guess we're going to go ahead and do that rainy day thing I've been sitting on for a while. Uh, we'll go to Dragon Barrow West. Before we get too far away, I do want to make sure we spend some of these runes and level up. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just go. Actually, I want to see how, how much that's going to give us. It doesn't seem like it's increasing damage all that much. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I'll take it either way, because that's fine by me. I mean, I'm, I'm good with that, but um, that's just kind of interesting. So out of curiosity, where are we at with this thing? 703 damage on Bloodhound's Fang. That's pretty good. Before we go up this way, I think what I want to do is run around a little more, because I feel like we've probably missed something out here. And the question is, where did we miss something out here? because that's where we're going to head. But I think I want to kind of run around and maybe go this way for a bit. Um, I'm, I'm really feeling like we missed something around here. The question is where, and I just, I don't really know off the top of my head. And I want to avoid the dragons for right now. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. I mean, I guess they're worth a decent amount of runes, but uh, it does take quite a bit to take them down. They are pretty, pretty beefy enemies. They're pretty tanky. Let's go, let's go down this way first, I guess, because there aren't any dragons on this path. And then there's still some, some big enemies along the way that we need to get rid of. So it's not like uh, we're avoiding all of our dragon and boss fights. I just, um, I don't know. I just, I'm not really interested in fighting these guys because they're not unique dragons. They're not really worth anything. I mean, you'll get some runes for them, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, there is a grace right here, so we did miss a grace. So I'm glad to fill in gaps when I can do this. Like, this is a good thing. Okay. 
if you're not going to follow, then I'm not going to worry about doing anything. Like, I'm not going to worry about sitting, uh, I should more correctly say. How you doing? Oh man, I forgot about the, the spear. We use that thing for a minute. It needs to be uh, played with some more. Because Giant Hunt was just a riot to, to use. I kind of want to know, can I get, like, another one of these from you guys? Oh, guy. Guy. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Stop hitting me. So I'm guessing we have not been over here. If we found... Yeah, yeah. If we... Oh, you know what? There's going to be um, an avatar up here. Yeah, there is, because this is a tree. I thought we've been over here. Have we not? There's a spirit... Oh, we must have been over here and then it just been like, nah, don't need to worry about it right now. I think that might be what happened. Oh, we can't do Blood Flames Plate. Well, well, on Torrent, that's kind of, you know, that doesn't really work out as well as uh, I might want it to. How you doing? I'm not doing well because you are still attacking me. I mean, that was just a straight-up normal attack. That's a light attack right there. Yeah, that is not too shabby. Here, let's go ahead and just use one of those, because we need to heal Torrent. I mean, this guy's getting pretty wrecked. He looks like he just did some rot stuff. I'm going to stay out of that for a minute. Make sure we keep our range. Okay, you can hold on to that for a minute. And while you're just busy spending all, shooting all these things out here, I'll give you one of those again. I mean, he kind of walked out of it. That's okay. Nope, 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 nope. Do not want. Oh, we're out of those guys. Okay. Here, can hit you with some, some knives. Okay, we're gonna give him a second here, and we're gonna just zoom around him. Oh my gosh, torrent! You're getting wrecked, my friend. I'm doing it that way so I can make sure we're both healed without ow, having to use a couple of things. And we need to heal up again. Oh my gosh, man. That really annoyed me. This guy should not have been a problem. Like, seriously. I mean, maybe I just need to get off torrent and it'll be better. But that should not have been a problem. I'm just... I'm really frustrated with myself for how I played that. That's all. I'm also really frustrated that I couldn't move. Because it would not let me move there when I was on the ground. All I could do was just sit there and get hammered. Which, you know... It's a great thing and all that. You know, let's just do this again. Very frustrating when that happens. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. I'll just come back and, you know, fight this guy again. Not the end of the world. Uh, let's not get hit. Okay, I think we're in an okay spot. Dang it, I was going for hitless on this guy. It really was. And I got stuck there while running around and I thought, you know, I'm not going to be able to see and it's going to be just my luck. I'm going to get stuck on something that I... I cannot see, and that's going to be... That's going to take the hitless away. That's fine. I mean, it's not like it's some, you know, major accomplishment to no-hit this guy or anything, but... Still, it would have been nice. Would have been nice. That's all right, though. He's toast anyway. Got the Opaline Hard Tier and the Stone Barb Cracked Tier. So let's take a look at that. Temporarily boosts all damage negation in Physic. I think we might switch to that one. And then the Stone Barb Cracked here makes attacks more likely to break enemy stances in a mixed Physic. That one sounds very interesting. Effect only lasts a short time, though. That's kind of unfortunate, but it does sound interesting. Is there an item over here? I thought I saw something over here, but I guess not. I thought I saw something shiny take that, though. Oh, there is a, a bat. My bad. 
Didn't mean to interrupt you, good bat, sir. Or madam. Whatever you are. I don't know, it's a bat. And then this will take us up. Which I'm pretty sure we've been up there. So, I think maybe we're good down here. I feel like there's still something else around, and I just don't know where it is. Let me, uh, let me wander around for a minute and see if I'm missing something else. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is a different path. This one went lower than where the Erd tree was. And then we've got a path that climbs up here. We'll see where this goes. Because I don't think we've been over here. Um, hello. Um, I hope that goes and kills the bears that were behind, because that would be, that'd be handy. That was weird. Anyway, whatever. Ignoring that and moving along. So, this looks like... Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, I hope that goes and kills the bears. Or something. Um, this is the rise. We've been to this rise, though, haven't we? I should have gone into that cave. We've been up here, right? We've done this one. We've been in Lenny's Rise because this is the one you jump up to over there. Okay. And then we've done the Knight's Cavalry over there. And then there's a dragon up on that bridge we have not done yet. And then there's also still a dude over by Garonk. And I think we probably need to go visit Garonk now that I think about it, too. So... Let's go back down this path, and this is going to take us down to what looked like a cave of some sort. And we'll go check that out. And we'll get around to the tower eventually, but um, apparently we're going to do a little caving first. A little, a little spelunking, as it were. It's a little further back than I remembered it being, okay? <laughs> Guess I didn't realize how far we went. Yeah, it's kind of back here somewhere. It's alright, though. Oh, hi. How you doing? I guess you uh, smelled, heard something. It's fine. It's fine. Here, we'll just go ahead and jump in. Got a grace right away. That's good. I mean, it is a cave, so duh, there should be one, but just the same. You never know at this game, right? I don't want to make any assumptions. Okay, let's go ahead and take a sit. And I think what I want to do is maybe see if we can put this guy on without going into medium or uh, heavy load, rather. Which we can, so we'll keep... St. Trina. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that is why I wanted St. Trina handy. Because this is just awfulness. Okay. If you're going to take a, a siesta, I'm good with that. So let's go ahead and do this. Look at that, man. That did like nothing. Ow. I'm gonna die to this thing, aren't I? Probably. Can I get another KO on you? Oh man, I, I should have waited just a second longer to get a little more stamina back before attacking. I wonder if this guy respawns. Oh my gosh. I might have to find out. Okay, can I get out of the corner? Maybe. I'm trying to get behind him because it seems like that's a good place to operate from with these guys. You want to be behind him if you can. Oh, we got the... Got the sleep on him, but I didn't realize it, so I kept hitting him like, an, like a goober. Okay. We're going to do it with St. Trina. Done. That was terrible, and I don't ever want to have to do that again. Okay. So what do we got over here? Golden Rune 12, and a Warming Stone. Oh, nice. I'll take that. I will take that. And we got some gold-tinged excrement. I have no idea which way we came from. But that looks like a false wall to me. And of course, it's not. That's great. That's great. And what about this one? You kind of look 
false as well. Guessing this is the way we came from? No, because this is going to go down. So let me backtrack a little bit, just so we can see here. So this must be where we came through. And we've got some uh, crystal buds and some deer back there. And that's good stuff. And then this looks like this is going down. So I'm all kinds of turned around now. I don't know which way we came from. That was a weird little sound right there, but okay. All the animals are gathered around this body. The bull goat's talisman. That's not a false wall. Okay. Apparently all the animals like the bull goat's talisman. That's interesting. And I'm just going to check that one too, just to see. Okay, so let's take a look at that. We know it's a talisman. Um, I see it right there. There it is. A talisman depicting the horns of a bull goat. Bull goats are associated with the stout and mighty Tragoth, said to be unflinching in combat, now a silent comrade to those who fight. So if we were to switch to that, that is going to give us 17 poise. That's pretty decent. I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's enough to matter right now. What is our poise? Oh, our poise is only 51. It should be higher. That's kind of a problem, actually. It should be 51. I think is what we need. 51 or 52. Oh, goodness. Can we... No. None of these are... I guess we could use Lionel's Greaves, but... Oh, goodness. What about... Oh, that's going to be less poise. I think we just need 51. Now uh, we can go 53. That's fine. I think that looks okay. I'm okay with that as a, a general look. Would like to polish that helm though and get rid of all the rust that's on it, but whatever. It's fine. Still 17 poise. That's pretty good. I wonder if it is a percentage or if it's just, you know, a straight 17. I guess that would require a little more checking to make sure. So I'm thinking this is the way we came from now, right? Yeah, this is where we came from. Okay, I burned a bunch of flasks, so I'm actually going to sit. And I may have all the regrets, because if this stupid bear comes back, then I'm going to have to... Oh, gosh. Okay, we don't want to go that way. I suppose we could just put it to sleep, and that would work too. Okay, I just want to see if I can get behind it and go around, because I think this is the way to go. No, it's not. Okay, excellent. I think that's the way to go. Maybe. Nope, that's the way we just came from. Okay, let me go across here. I'm, I'm all kinds of turned around right now. Yep, it's awake. It's awake, it's awake, it's awake. This way? I don't think it can fit in here, though, so I think we're fine. And we'll get this crystal moss. Trying not to miss my fall here, because that would be bad news. Just kind of randomly taking a swing there, in case there's something coming. Uh, we got the big boy down there. Here, let's go ahead and make a couple more volcano pots. Alright, that gets them a little primed for being attacked. How you doing? Guy tried to sneak up and get a big old crit. Look at that. Jerk. Don't do that. It's my job, not yours. Okay, and we'll just keep going on down here. I'm kinda curious if that reset the, the wolves and if if it did, if I can get a critical attack now. I think that I think that did. I think it I think it did. I say crit, I mean uh surprise attack really. Hi. Let's not do this anymore. Okay, take some beast blood. We'll just go ahead and rest or uh heal up rather. Golden rune eight. Then that's the way we came from, so let's go ahead and grab the cave moss, just in case we need to make any boluses at some point. 
might not want to use the spell to clear poison or something. I don't know, whatever. Whatever. And we got another drop right here. So droppy droppy do. And another droppy droppy do. And let us drop right into this. And it looks like we've got uh, two of those. Um, two of whatever those are. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize I was putting Tish at 10. I was thinking I was putting Tish at 9. Here, we'll go ahead and summon Oleg just for the giggles. And we'll do that. And we're going to switch to St. Trina, I think, just for the laughs. And then, can we sneak up on one of these guys here and do this? Oh, yeah. That put him straight to sleep. And then I hit him again anyway. Okay, is that going to actually put you down? I'm not sure if it is. I guess I need to just let him go and see if he actually falls asleep. Oh yeah, he sure does. Meanwhile, Oleg over there is just rocking this dude. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure this dude's gonna fall asleep. Um, what are you doing? You're throwing, like, throwing stuff. All right. Oleg, good job, my friend. Look at Oleg, dude. He just trashed these guys. Flame Drake Talisman plus two. That probably would have been handy to have earlier in the game. It's going to be additional uh, fire damage reduction or something. Okay. I'm pretty sure if you look straight ahead, I mean, I'm not positive, but I think that might be Garonk's place up there. I can't see the big old dude that stands guard outside of it, but uh, I think that might be Garong's place. That's kind of cool if so. We're not going to go up into the tower today, but we are going to go down by the tower because there's kind of two areas for it. Now, there's a, an upper area and a lower area, and we'll go ahead and clear the lower because it's only going to take a minute, seeing as we're uh, about at time on today's video. But if we haven't already been over here, and maybe we have... But if we haven't, there will be some items down here. Look at that. We have not, because there are items. So it's some Dragon Wound Grease, a Somber 9, an Arterial Leaf, and a Rune Arc. I am not upset with any of those things. And we, by the way, have a bunch of runes. I just now noticed that. And we must have got a bunch from the Putrid Avatar guy, because I don't think those Beastmen dudes gave us all that much, but it is kind of interesting that there's two of those dudes from Faramazula, which we have uh, we were at a long time ago. How did they get over here? Why are they over here? Um, I guess maybe not how did they get over here, but why are they over here? I suppose how they just left. Although, I don't know, maybe that <laughs> maybe that's not a thing. I mean, from what we saw, we couldn't really get around, but I don't think we were in, quote-unquote, the standard location for Faramazula. Barum Azula, Farum Azula, Barum Azula, I don't know, whatever. I don't know what it is, and I'm not really concerned either way. We should probably go spend our runes before we lose them, so I guess we can do that right quick. Um, I don't think we need any more arrows, right? You know, we've still got 600. We haven't really been using the bow all that much, so... Oh, look at that. We did not pick up that item right there. A sliver of meat. We'll go ahead and take the sliver of meat. That's fine. I mean, whatever. It's all good. I'm trying to remember, where was the uh, grace? It's like straight ahead. Okay, good. Got it. It's like uh, around the fork or something along those lines. Where are you? I mean, I guess we could just teleport, but it seems kind of silly. We're literally right here. Potentially. There it is. All right, let's see what we can do with some levels. We're going to have enough to level up twice. Um, before we do that, actually, let's take a look at our great rune options, because we activated a couple of them, but I don't know what each of them will do. So Rykards restores HP upon defeating enemies. That's interesting. Morgoth's greatly raises maximum HP. And Moog's grants a blessing of blood to phantoms. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. 
Its blessing grants a blessing of blood to summon phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Moog and Morgoth are twin brothers and their great runes are naturally similar. But Moog's rune is soaked in a curse of blood from his devout love for the wretched mire that he was born into far below the earth. We've got uh, Morgoth. This great rune is the anchor ring that houses the base and proves two things. That the Omen King was born of the Golden Lineage and that he was indeed the Lord of Landell. And we've got Rykard here. Rykard was amongst the children of Renala and Radagon, who became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's union with Queen, Mer Queen Merica. But Rykard fed himself to the blasph blasphemous serpent, Great Rune and all. So, child of Renala, Renala is the queen. Very interesting. I don't know if we ever looked at that. The Great Rune is known as the Anchor Ring, found in the center of the Elden Ring. This one is. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. Well, I don't really feel like any of those... Uh, I don't understand enough of what those are doing to say if they're going to do anything for us. So, instead, I'll take an extra few damage and call it good. We'll catch up on the next one as we go into the Divine Tower of Kaelid, and I have all the regrets. <laughs> catch you on that one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.